All right, the guy who's going to lead off our champagne Sunday edition here. <laughs> Start wow. with straight shots and then pop bottles. We'll That's just right. skip the shots part, but we'll just, just straight it's bottles. It's a little early for shots, yeah. and we're older. Yeah. So, and we're not we're not misinformed. Like we're not not in tune with our age. You know, we don't think <laughs> right. we can just still party like we were twenty one. Sure. So the first guy that we're gonna touch on out of this group is I think we got Carry On Johnson at the top of it. Oh, you mean um, you mean old uh, Carry On Johnson? Yeah, that guy. I think I really like Carry On Johnson. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Um, he's right right now as of. Today, kind of what I found searching around the internet, kind of a day day two pick projected maybe like two or three. Um, there's some high praise out there for this dude, and then there might be some hate some, too. There's so. some, yeah. I feel like it's kind of he's kind of all over the place. It's again, it's early. This is kind of our early uh, first impressions of going through all these guys and all the tape and all that stuff that we have on them. So yeah, this it's is, freaking January. Yeah. I mean, we kind of landed with with carry on at the top of this list, but we got. I, I'm having a tough time separating carry on John Johnson and uh, Ronald Jones, Rojo, <clears throat> but I kind of like, I, I think I like carry on giving him the slight edge because I, I feel like he, maybe he isn't quite as dependent on a, a, landing, a, a spot. landing spot of like being in a really good situation. I'm not taking anything away from Ronald Jones. Obviously I let it off with saying like, I'm kind of, I feel like I'm splitting hairs here. They're a little bit different of guys, but they're, they're definitely different guys. And I get, I get what you're saying. Like it is, it's not as tough for me to choose between those two guys. Like I'm, I'm, I'm more carry on. Uh, I think, but that, like you said, the landing spot could change a lot for almost anyone. Um, he's kind of this. He seems like he's a little bit more um, what's safe. The word of, safe and just like yeah, he's a running back. Right. And he those skills are going to translate. I think so too. Probably anywhere. I don't yeah. think he needs a scheme. He just needs the ball. Right. Yeah. No. I mean, when this guy gets it, the first thing after watching the conglomerate of of tape and stuff that's available out there is like my biggest takeaway was like vicious this dude is yeah. a pretty vicious runner he like we said he kind of looks like a running back he kind of has those he's got cut up arms and and big legs and well he runs a bit upright yeah whatever <laughs> I, I don't really care i mean he has i think a little bit of everything that you want he's got he plays with an attitude you know as far as i'm concerned he's got a mean stiff arm um, and he's got, you know, power. I think he has long speed. He was banged up for a little bit of, of this year. You saw him go down with that hamstring. He looked like he got snipered from behind when he did end up going down with that injury. But I, I do believe that he's, he's pretty quick, um, and, and patient, but he's also, uh, pretty decisive. So I think those are all really, really solid things. And he's, he's really tough to bring down. He's kind of a lunch pail, hard hat kind of guy, uh, kind of type of runner. He could very well work at a steel mill. It's, yeah. <laughs> You know? He is tough to bring down. There is a there's a, a load of broken tackles that, that are evident, yeah. easily defined on any of the tape you're watching. You know, the contact doesn't bother him whatsoever. He he he's he's got a, he's got almost everything you want. You mentioned the injuries. He did suffer that hamstring injury in week one versus Georgia Southern. He misses the next two weeks. One of those was against Clemson, thank goodness. I was actually at that game. Crazy. Clemson Clemson pulled that out at the end. Didn't know Auburn was gonna finish the year that strong and be that good well for this is a good offensive line and they they were pretty <coughs> poor to start the year there gave up a ton of sacks in that game and then uh, you know a decent yeah. amount of sacks at the end of the year but r the rest of the year this was a really solid group yeah they were a veteran group uh it was a good power blocking scheme with shifts and pulls you know the mo motions that all jive well with with what carry on was bringing to the table um and they did have a lot they had i think three returning starters and, and a bunch of competition they brought in um, on that offensive line, I think it was rated like the second best college football line, and by PFF, yeah, um, I mean, they, is what I found. They they put a ridiculous middle of the season together there, uh, and carry on looked great, and even even gutted out a bunch of games of not being a hundred percent healthy. Yeah, you could it, see that the long speed wasn't quite back, and the explosiveness was, but still played right. Well, especially that that first game back versus Missouri, he was coming off that hamstring injury, and he he didn't look quite as explosive he didn't bust off any big runs but he did score five touchdowns so <laughs> yeah something to be said for that um and then he had he had an injured shoulder he injured his shoulder in the third quarter versus the alabama game um came back into that game gutted it out um and then actually did re-injure it in the fourth quarter of that game and was out for good but 
I mean, that Alabama game basically... Right. Obviously kind of like your gold standard of evaluation when you're right. looking at guys yeah. playing against. You, you want to see well that Alabama Might as well go check it tape. out. If it's yeah. there, you definitely want to yeah. check it out. Um, not saying it's the end-all, be-all. because No, by not by not any means. But, I mean, he. De- I think he probably looked as good as any running back that I've seen look against them. Which Absolutely. I haven't seen, every Al- haven't seen every Alabama game, but I've seen an- enough. Yeah. I've seen a lot of them. And he definitely... And to not be 100% was very impressive to me in that game. Absolutely. Um, he's got a knack for short yardage situations. Um, I guess let's just go back to that Alabama game. It showed you everything that, that you wanted to see. There aren't There isn't a lot of tape on him. There's not a lot of individual games. Yeah. Um, I went back, I, I watched like a couple 16 games and then 17. There's only like three or four, and a couple of them are just like Auburn games versus the other team, so you get some of the defense and other stuff spread in there. Um, they right. got that nice 15-minute cut up that you can watch of kind of the whole season. Yeah. But well, I this, mean, This isn't like the NFL where we can buy a, a package where we can go back and watch like every snap right. from like the last three years. This is right. We're subjected, subjected to you know what people are putting out there the and, and, and what we can see, and like I don't have time to watch nearly all of these games like so i could take sunday but i can't take saturday and right just, you know right completely and it, it'd be silly for me to come on here and be like the you know i watched all the tape i could find on youtube of him and in in a couple days and even rewatch some of it and and pretend to know everything i could about these right. guys their scouts have been watching these dudes for years and, and have all the tape and still can't figure it out right. in the end um but based on off our track record that we put on 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 tape last year, I think we, we I feel good going yeah, into this sure. offseason about our process and about, I mean, we do find everything you can find and we'll, we'll find more stuff as the season goes on. I, I, you know, we have four days, four guys on the docket to talk about today. And even throughout the last week of looking into them all, there's been more games pop up. And so there'll be more stuff come up and change. And yeah. We, like we said, we haven't, well, you really can't know anything though until you see the combine, right? right. No <laughs> way I matters. can know anything. Right. I mean, yeah, I like to see what the, what the 40 times are and the three cone and the bench press. And I like to see him catch, which again is something that we haven't even talked about with carry right. on. I think strong, strong in the passing game. Oh yeah. He has, uh, I think 55 total receptions in his career for 478 yards but he didn't play a 24 lot 24 of those came last year right and he didn't play a lot in 15 um and this and and to, to he's coming out as a junior so he's foregoing the senior year so right that's with just three years and a limited freshman year really right and and then even not not as much in, in 16 either but the but 24 catches last year and he's a handsy catcher like it's hands yeah. he catching. looks real solid in the passing game probably underrated based on the number of catches that yeah. he had but and in the other part of that game in pass pro he i think he looks pretty solid to me like he's he's oh, yeah. he'll bang with you no problem he's, he misses here and there but who, he whiffed who a couple times but exactly who doesn't but as far as even the, the guys that we're going to talk about today he's definitely probably the best pass protector and he's laying wood out there like and, and i'll go back to that alabama game like he was he got his quarterback got hit one time the arm got hit his guy got around him and, and it was an incomplete pass but other than that like he was one and one on one with these outside edge rusher defenders for Alabama, and right? T- standing and stand, them up, yeah, and giving his dude enough time. Now the quarterback was getting off the ball quickly, and that that yeah, he, I think he gets his arm him. hit in that game yeah. at one point, and it was a little bit of his fault. But I mean, that's a premium Pristine. rusher coming off the end there, and and he stood him up for a, for a minute, but he ended up getting around him. But for the most part, it was it was good pass pro pretty much in every game that I could see, and all and every you know instance and they right. show you enough of it for sure right but that Alabama game like I think he showed you the whole kit and caboodle it was a joy to watch quite frankly which is which is why I think you kind of had why both of us when we talked about this guy kind of put him up in the top of this kind of group right outside that kind of big four ish right. if you will as of right now sure yeah um, there's those four dudes and I don't know that anybody's really it's two gonna... and then questionable right. other two and then yeah it's it's Saquon yeah Saquon and, and guys and, and, and then it's maybe the Chubb two Georgia and guys and then maybe carry on for me right. I think he as of squeeze. right now obviously we're early in the process and haven't evaluated every single player and, and things will be moved around as we go forward but the fact of just the all, all the facets of the game that this guy has I think he's he could be a really special player yeah I mean, he can he strings moves together he sheds tacklers he he can get he can can get low and squirt through some tiny holes for three yards like I definitely saw that versus Alabama a couple times I couldn't even see where he was yeah you know so he does kind of run upright sometimes but it's not like an upright style it's yeah. just he's tall he's got he's six feet tall he's got huge legs though these legs like are he's got Derrick Henry legs the real but not long. Co- but his torso is shorter like so none of that's a knock for me those legs look awesome and and it's it's crazy that they're so long like there was literally this one run. 
Uh, in that Alabama game, he's getting the ball out of the shotgun per use in that Auburn offense. And, and he, he literally took two steps. And in those two steps, he had pressed the line of scrimmage, made a cut outside, and was like already changed directions. So like in the two linebackers, you see him come in when he presses the line because he pressed that line so right. hard. And he makes one little side step, and that's with two steps right. from the shotgun. Right, which is kind of where you get the, some people compare. The, there's been some Le'Veon kind of, which I don't, I'm not a huge fan of any sort of comps. I just yeah. like to figure out what these guys. Look well, he's like a by he's themselves. a he's a souped up Wayne Gallman at best. Right. Whatever. Which I get that. I'll take he a does. Up Wayne Gallman. Sure. Yes. Wayne Gallman looked awesome in the spots that he had this year. Yeah. I mean, I I think this is a, a guy who kind of has every piece of the puzzle that you're looking for out of a running back. I think he just looks like a running back, as silly as that is to say. Right. Um, Those and, two steps, man, it was crazy. I had to rewatch him. I had to rewind it and rewind it like just several times because I couldn't believe that he could long take legs. two steps and make this move and yeah. beat two linebackers in the whole defensive line. I mean, it wasn't quite. Zay Jones levitation crazy, but I mean it was crazy. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. This is a, this is the guy who was the off SEC offensive player of a year of the year, which is a you know a solid honor from a guy who missed even missed some time in the season and and just I feel like he's just your kind of gutty, gritty. Like I said, but blue he also collar. Had, he also has that patience, though. right? He no, can exhibit what, that patience and and make a decisive move yeah. when he needs to, and there's no wasted movement, and he can show you the power. He's good in those right. short yardage situations, absolutely. And the, he can shed tacklers, like he can. You already said it. We already said he's stiff arming dudes, spin like they're just. He doesn't lose his balance. No, it's 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 really good to. It's really fun to watch the what their little tape we could find on him. And uh, I'm looking forward to, to drafting this dude next yeah. year for sure. And he, you know, he, he got he got better pretty much every year. Yep, at, love uh, that at Auburn. Uh, this year he he finished with 285 attempts, 1391 yards, right off of 1400 and, and 4.9 a carry, which he had 4.9 a carry last year, and 18 touchdowns, which you know that's that's solid number there in the strong SEC. numbers and and everything that I've I've seen from this guy, I just I really love it and. He got the slight edge on Ronald Jones for me right here, kind of in this next tier of guys so far, um, just because I think he is a little bit more of a, you know, he's got, a, obviously has a little more size and just maybe. Well, he's only 212, but he seems bigger than that. Right. He runs bigger than that. But Ronald Jones is two 200. Yeah. So. And, but he, well, we'll get into Ronald Jones here yeah. shortly. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a break. I think it's safe to say that, you know, we've got, we've got uh, this guy at number five, in our 2018 right. rookie we, we running backs. We haven't really ranked the other guys. For but now. For now, in this early impression, we <clears> kind of <throat> have them slotted around the around the five spot. All right, well, let's go to break. We'll be back with more Mary to the game. <laughs> 